Now we already played with this a little bit. Yeah. Um, in fact, I brought my own power meter. I didn't bring the one with the colored screen. I brought another one. And I thought it'd be interesting to compare my watt meter with theirs. Obviously theirs is, you know, much, much, much higher grade. So theirs is accurate and mine is, in our testing here, it's, it's somewhat accurate. It's not as accurate, but I think it's close enough for my videos to give you an idea when I'm comparing different products. All right. So can you tell us about what you've got here and what you use it for? Okay, so we have here, uh, uh, actually aside from the appliances, we're also in the lookout of different products coming out in the market. So like these things, yeah, these, these things, right? So the these are called power, uh, savers. power savers. Yeah, so here we, we test these kinds of uh, products or gadgets and then whatever uh, technical results that we're getting from these, we share it to our customers. Because for really for education. A lot of people ask me on my channel, how about Does those power savers? Do they work? Can you review them? And I always give them the same answer that they're pretty much a rip off because they're not going to help you, especially as a residential user, yeah, but of even as a business user. The, the capacities aren't big enough to no, really do no. anything. Actually, for bigger applications, uh, you really compute for the size of the capacitor banks that we're going to use for power factor correction. Yeah, this is but not going to do anything. Yeah, this, uh, in short, this doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to give a longer answer about why this doesn't work? Okay. So actually, they use the concept of power factor correction, similar to bigger applications like industries, and uh, they used it on a household uh, level but again when you look at your uh, electricity bill uh, you are billed for kilowatt hours that's right okay so uh, in the test that uh, that we got from these products actually uh, they show you a multi-tester mm. and then they're showing you a figure that is going down right but actually that's the current okay amperes no? yeah but you are not built for current alone. Yeah. You are built for the wattage. Yeah, huh? exactly. So that's voltage, current, and of and course, power factor. power factor is playing there. Okay. So basically, uh, when you use this for household use, uh, it won't make any sense because number one, uh, you're not built for current alone. You're built for kilowatt hours. Exactly. And then, uh, you're not built either if you have a good or bad power factor. Because you're residential, so it's Because you're irrelevant. residential. That's not part of your billing yeah. components. Okay. Okay. So, so I think you have a concise yes. answer there. <laughs> it's not worth wasting your money on these things. Right. They're not going to help you. So just save your money and use that towards your bill because this won't help. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to your power meter. Yes, so for anyone who doesn't know, this is the power meter that I brought with me. Um, you've seen this in many of my videos, and this is their one. So of course theirs is a lot better. Um, <laughs> but can you tell us actually a bit more about your meter? Can you tell okay. us anything about it? So this is a power visa. Actually, these, uh, this uh, equipment, uh, testing equipment is basically used for, uh, usually for power quality and then power audits. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that this is what we use here in the laboratory to test all these appliances and these gadgets. So whenever okay. a manufacturer or a brand brings in something, this is where it's gonna go in here and yes. it's gonna be tested. And that's yes. how you do your orange label. Orange tag, yeah. Orange tag, yeah. okay. Okay. So what have we got set up here? Okay, so we set up the main electric fan here, cute okay. one. <laughs> yeah, it's a cute little fan. <laughs> where I'll go. Okay, and then, uh, Using your power meter, it's uh, let's get the power consumption. So it's around 21.8, 20, okay. 20.9 or 22 watts. Okay. And let's compare it to the power visa. So it's 21.4. 21 so 21.4. So this is 20, 22. 22. Pretty close. So yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah. But yours is obviously going to be more accurate. But <laughs> For my, for my usage, this is close enough. Yes. And we also tested it with a bulb, right? The, one yeah. of these incandescent type. Okay. So this is an incandescent bulb, which yeah. is somewhere around 60 or 70 watts. Is that right? Right. So it's this meter 75. is 75.4? 75.4. Okay. Let me just show that. There you go. Okay, so 75.3 or 4. Yeah. And then your meter is reading 76.2. Now, of course, this is more accurate, but again, for my testing purposes, especially doing comparisons, this is close yeah, enough. Pretty close. Pretty close. Actually, we can, can use it. <laughs> it yeah. Okay, excellent. Okay. And then 
this is where you normally do your own testing, right? Yes. So obviously this is all hard in, but luckily <laughs> I, I brought my own stuff because yeah. I was expecting I was expecting that. And these okay. are sitting here waiting to be tested? Yes, waiting to be tested. So okay. Um, and what's the normal up. turnaround time on like this? If a brand brings you their product and says, I want to orange tag it. Okay. So usually for uh, uh, like in the case of refrigerators, it's around uh, six to ten days. Okay. Yeah. okay. And what's this? Is this a thermometer, right? This is a temperature, temperature reader. So are you doing something with that inside the ref? No, we're just monitoring the room temperature. Ah, okay. Okay. But we have a temperature logger that we place inside, inside the, the ref. ref. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. can oh. you also tell us about this programmable AC source? You okay. were telling me about that yeah. earlier. So, for example, we do some power quality demonstrations. So we use this uh, programmable generator to simulate some scenarios like, for example, over voltage, under voltage, uh, voltage sags. So we try to induce it in two circuits. So one is protected, one is not. So we show what's the effect okay. of uh, having such uh, uh, voltage variances in the circuit and then what's the impact to, the, to, to your equipment. So, so that's why it's important that you protect, you, know, you, you, you have these uh, relays and uh, protective devices so that you can really... And that's uh, primarily for business users. For business and industrial okay. customers. But commercial of course customers. it's also important for residential to also have protectors for their sensitive equipment. Yeah, for sensitive electronic gadgets. Sensitive equipment. Equipment. Okay, this will be useful for me to play with <laughs> when I'm reviewing something and I want to see if it really has protection against you know, yeah. over voltage surge. Okay. Excellent. So let's go to the second floor. Okay, let's go up to the second floor. Okay, so here we have the, uh, what we call the intelligent living space. Okay. Okay. So as you could observe, it looks like a regular, ha yeah, regular looks like house, a, a two bedroom house. condominium. Yeah. So we have kitchen, we have bed, bedrooms. Okay, okay. Yeah. So basically the intelligent living space serves for two purposes. Number one, this is where we test, study and demonstrate uh, home energy management solutions like smart homes using smart plugs like this one. Yeah. Smart plugs. So that's a Wi-Fi controlled yeah. plug. So we are able to also? control and monitor your appliances using the smart plugs. Wait, that can monitor your appliance in what way? Uh, you have a dashboard. Oh really? Yeah. Will we be able to see that? Uh, okay, we, we'll have it set up. Okay. okay. And then. Uh, over here, we have reconfigurable rooms. So this is where we do the aircon testing. Uh, okay. So as you could see in these walls, we could just yeah, uh, remove the issues. wall covers and then after the aircon test, we put it back. So if a brand gives you an aircon to test, you're going to test it in this kind yes. of room? Yes. Okay. No, usually it's here on, in that on, one. on the, two, the two sides. Okay. Okay. So there we could actually configure six square meters, 12, Square meters, uh, 18 square meters, 36, 54, up to the whole area of 72 square meters. And that's because you've got these slidable yeah, doors. Yeah, yes, wow, that's very clever. That's, yeah. that's and a then lot of work. We use uh, two heat loads. Okay, lamps, just to simulate, simulate humans. Yeah. Okay, excellent. <laughs> that's a okay. good idea. So, this is the other side. So, we can actually do simultaneous testing. For example, you have two one horsepower. Okay. So you have one 18 square meter here and the other 18 square meter there. Over there, yeah. okay. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah, it's useful having this facility, but I mean, it's purpose made exactly for this thing, yes. right? So that's why it works so well. Yeah. And of Excellent. course, there, the, the orange tags. <laughs> so you've got this on the... Oh, actually, this is something I wanted to ask you about because a lot of people ask me about the cost of a gas stove okay. versus an electric. This is inductive, right? Yeah, this is an induction heat cooker. Okay. Because my, my question is, mm -hmm. how if, like, okay, these are efficient, but how do they compare against a gas stove? Is it cheaper? Is it more expensive? I know safety is also a concern. Yes, yeah. Actually, in terms of efficiency, based on our tests, uh, we are getting around 80 to 82% in terms of efficiency for the induction cooker. Okay. For the regular coil type stoves, it's around mm -hmm. 48%. Okay, they're much, much and worse. And for the gas stoves, yeah. the PG ones, it's around 32%. Okay. Because, uh, as you could observe, when you use gas stoves, much of the heat is really lost to the surroundings. Right. That's why you, your kitchen feels very hot. Okay, okay so, so an inductive yeah. stove 
bypasses that because it's it's, it's, it's in the it, in uh, the, the heat transfer itself. is very the heat transfer is very efficient. Right. Okay. That's interesting. Very okay, interesting. And of course, it's uh, much safer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And there you go. Actually, for this one, it's just a simple control. So you were able to turn on that fan. That fan through yeah. your tablet here. Yeah. Okay. So we let's switch it. Okay, so there you go. Come on, excellent. Because I've yeah. reviewed something similar to this before, but it wasn't Bel uh, Belkin, right? I think this one. Yeah, yeah Belkin. Mm -hmm. um, I think this one's a little bit <laughs> better. Okay. So you can turn it on and off. I assume you can probably do yeah. schedule the lights. So the lights come on also. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then if you want to turn them off, there you go. Nice and simple. And let's turn off the fan. So Wi-Fi controlled yeah. smart house. It's pretty convenient. <laughs> And the one that I reviewed before, and I'm sure this one has a similar feature, it allows you to turn things on and off automatically, which is useful because, say, if you look at this fan, there's no timer on it. So yeah. if you want to set it for, say, an hour before you go to sleep, there is no way to do that. But with this smart plug, you have that functionality. Yes. So that can save you money rather than running it all night if you're yeah. not going to be using it, right? True. Okay, let's go to the charging station. Yeah. It's good. Do you want to say hello to the camera? Hello, camera. Hi. Hi. Thank you for visiting the power lab. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, hopefully everyone who watched this found it interesting. Um, it's really good to go here, actually, and to see what Morocco is doing. Um, it's really interesting, and hopefully people will learn from this. And also, if businesses or consumers try and make schedules to go here, right. they can also learn they from can. you guys. They're very much welcome. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.